Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer, I hope your day is going well. And in today's uh, video, we're gonna be working on that 7820 and we're gonna be upgrading its uh, SATA base, which is uh, this bay right here. We have two SATA drives. We also have two below and I'm okay with that. Uh, this is gonna be my boot drive. This is gonna be extra storage. But these guys up here, I want them to be those uh, U.2 Optane disks that go in here, uh, but they're, they're geared for SATA. The board does support um, those drives. So right here, uh, there are two connectors, right? And those are the uh, SFF uh, 8643 connectors. And all I have to do is replace the back plane. The back plane is buried way deep in here, way back in here. I got to pull all this stuff out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this uh, module right here. And there's five screws. So there's a screw right down here, a screw right there, here. And then after we remove this, uh, front plate right here, three and four, it pops off. There are a couple screws here and another screw right there. So that'll get this module out of the way and then I'll work on the fan. So then we'll go one there, uh, one in the center right behind those uh, screws, yep, right there actually, <laughs> and one below uh, way down in here. Nice thing about the fan is it's actually got a connector in here that actually hooks it in. It's kind of hard to see because it's behind that lip, but it actually holds it in place so it doesn't fall down and damage all your components. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, these two components removed, and then we'll work on getting that old uh, SATA backplane out and getting the uh, new backplane in, which looks like this. So we're going to go ahead and get, this is the guy we're going to get installed. All right, we'll be right back at it. All right, we went ahead and got those components out of the way, that big drive tray that was here, and the fan bay is out of the way. Now we can really see the uh, back of the uh, SATA back planes here, this being the top and this being the bottom. You might notice there's some cables here. One is for power, which goes right here, so we'll need to remove that cable. There's a thin cable right here. This is a temperature sensor, so we'll have to figure uh, that guy out. Uh, probably just needs to be removed and then reinserted. And then these are uh, just SATA cables, like I explained. Uh, so we're gonna pull it out. We'll pull this screw, this screw, and this screw out, and then it should pop out. Wanna make sure also that before you do this, that you get your drives <laughs> unhooked. So I'm gonna pull those guys out. They're ready to go. And now we're ready to pull this back plane off. So I'm gonna pull the screws, get it out, and then we'll get the other back plane in. All right, so I got that SATA backplane out, and after I removed those uh, three screws, it pretty much came out of its own. It wasn't much holding on there except for those three screws, and I pulled it out. The challenge was, is it was threaded. It's got some really long uh, SATA cables that plug into the system board here, and it was threaded all the way through here, down through this power channel, wrapped up in here, back through here, some more uh, clips to release, and then finally it came off right there, and it's been removed. Uh, now I just got to get all these cables kind of back into place. I also had to remove the uh, uh, holder for the card. Just This is basically, it keeps the long video cards in place. It was right here. Once you get that out of the way, you get better access into uh, everything below. You know, removing some pins like this and getting all the cables threaded through here. It wasn't too bad, but now we're ready to uh, thread in the uh, new backplane. What's interesting about this backplane is you think it would mount uh, this way with cables down, but it doesn't. It mounts this way with cables up and screws in. So we'll have to get that screwed in, hooked up, and then we'll show you how it goes. Okay, we got the uh, backplane installed now. It's uh, right here. We got the three screws uh, put in here as well. We've got screw one, two, and three. One thing to note is uh, this screw right here, or bolt, is different than this one. These are two and a half inch, like metric two and a half, or 2.55, kind of an odd size. This one looks like it's an M3, which is a little different. So just something to note there that these are different <laughs> bolts. I went ahead and got the power cable installed. It was kind of hooked back into here. So I pulled it forward and then made sure that the tray that goes in here will fit around it. That looks like the right position. So we're good there. And then I also got the uh, the cables plugged into the SFF 8643 cables plugged into the system board here and wired up. The only thing I got left to do is uh, get the uh, thermostat or the uh, you know drive temp check. It's going to go right on the back there. Wire it up. Clean up this cabling mess. Put the bin back or the uh, the tray back right here. Put the uh, the uh, card holder right here, and it is done. So let me just check my drives. Make sure they go in nice and smooth. There goes one. In there goes the other. In and we should be good to go. 
The only thing I got left to do now is just power it on and test it, but uh, that'll be another video, I'm sure. So, folks, uh, that's it. That's pretty much uh, all I want to show you on this. If there's any questions you have on it or any suggestions you have, please leave them in the comments. Have a great day. We'll see you. Bye.